We are often asked, what is the difference between an FFP2 and an FFP3 mask? There are several things you should know. The media used in FFP2 masks will filter a minimum of 94% of particles sized between 0.3 and 0.6 microns. The media of an FFP3 mask will filter a minimum of 99%. While you may find an FFP2 easier to breathe through, this may be because the media filters less and therefore you can breathe better. The fit is inferior by definition. What is the fit? Masks are not only evaluated for their filtration levels, but also for the way they fit on your face and prevent your lungs from being polluted by external hazards. Put simply, if you have a well-fitted mask, it will seal perfectly to your face and you will only breathe through the mask. If the fit is poor, air will leak into and out of the mask around your face. And you will not be breathing filtered air. A typical example are surgical masks that may use media with viral filtering retention but which are not tightly fitted to the face. In order to check the fit, we use a porter count particle counting device. The porter count is a device which gives you a fit factor. It demonstrates how a fitted mask reduces the wearer's exposure to hazardous particles in the air. With a fit factor of 10, your exposure is 10 times lower than it would be without a mask. An FFP3 mask fit factor is 100. An FFP2 mask fit factor is 25 by comparison. A surgical mask will have a fit factor of 0. What does this mean? That by definition, an FFP2 protects 4 times less than an FFP3. This means that, with regards to COVID-19, an FFP2 mask is not as suitable as an FFP3. It is especially important to use an FFP3 mask in case of high concentration exposure, such as direct patient contact in hospitals. Against COVID, we should only recommend what's safest.